Hey there, it's Rick Khan from rickkhan.com and in this video I'm going to go through how to build a swipe file fast that makes writing easy and persuasive. And if you stay all the way till the end, you'll have the confidence to write your sales copy quickly, whether it's for a sales page, a Facebook ad, a social post or even an email. And perhaps best of all, when you build this swipe file, you'll destroy writer's block for good because sometimes it can slow you down when you're staring at a blank page, getting stuck about what to write or when you need ideas. This is exactly what your swipe file will do for you. So specifically in the video, I'm gonna reveal how to find your competitors, how to find winning copy, what to look for and how to add this into your swipe file so that you can have a powerful swipe file on your tool belt. Now, just before jumping into how to find your competitors, your swipe file is a collection of all the ads, the copy, the headlines, and other copywriting resources that you're gonna be using over and over again. Because without a swipe file, I wouldn't recommend anyone writing a single word because essentially you won't know or understand your competitors or your prospects enough to tap into their desires, their desperate problems, or even finding the big idea. And it'll always be difficult always to find inspiration from the top of your head. So with all this said, how do you find copy to swipe? So here's something that I do. I recommend you sign up to different email lists to top copywriters because they'll hit you with multiple emails that will give you the links to their sales pages. And when you keep seeing certain promos over and over again, this is most likely their control copy. And here's the thing, how do you know if it's successful? Well, in most cases, you don't know. But here's a few ways to determine this. Basically, you can rely mostly on the reputation of the person or product or service. And if it's a sales page that's been consistently showing up by them, this is a good indicator that this is working well. And here's another powerful way to determine what works, which is using the Facebook ad library. Using the ad library is probably one of the most powerful marketing tools out there. And the good thing about using this tool is that you can tell if the copy is successful just by looking at the date. You see, if it's been running a long time, this is a good indicator it must be working. You see, no one pays into Facebook for long periods of time without getting a good return back. So you can literally find working copy directly on here. And when you do, make sure to screenshot the Facebook ad copy and then go through the funnel, taking notes and screenshots along the way. Which leads to what should you look for and put into your swipe file when going through all of this? Now, I do have an in-depth tutorial covering the research process that you can check out in the description below. It will cover everything that I say on here, but on a deeper level. But knowing what to look for and adding this to your swipe file is a crucial part of what you should swipe. And it's what you'll be using when you write a copy. So what I do is two things. I first research each of these steps from two perspectives. One is from the avatar or customer's perspective, and the other is the competitor's perspective. Basically, what solutions are the competitors promising and delivering to the customer's problems? But for this example, I'm gonna mainly focus on the competitor's perspective where you either get a document or an Excel spreadsheet and add each of these things, which is one, the full copy link of where you source the information. Then add the desperate problems they're calling out. Then the unique promise, what proof are they using? What story are they telling? What are the mechanisms they're using to solve the problem? And what level of awareness are they angling their copy? Then you wanna go through the copy, through the emails, ads, and start pinpointing things that you notice with any of these seven points. What's the problem they're focusing on with these customers? How are they going to solve the problems with their mechanisms? What angles are they using with their promise? And how are they using proof to convince their customers? even what stories are they telling and where are they meeting the prospects at. And once you do all of this, then I highly advise you do this next, which is buy the front end or enter the funnel of high converting sales pages of your competitors. This will give you a huge advantage and it'll teach you what upsells, angles, and what emails are being sent to people who purchase because you'll discover different promos and ideas of how they're structuring their campaigns. And all this information is an absolute goldmine because 
what you're going to do is not steal but follow the structures and strategies of what's working i mean why wouldn't you don't invent anything when everything is already done but again you're not stealing you're innovating the ideas and structures and making it your own and again add all of this into your swipe documents and continue to build this all out and by the end you should have the most precious thing for your campaigns which is your complete swipe file i'm forever using my swipe file over and over again because without it i wouldn't know what to write or even what to sell so get one going and then you can check out this extensive video on how to research all of this out for copywriting in detail with this video here and make sure to let me know if you found this video useful simply by hitting the like button and until then i'll see you in the next video